Hi all, my name is Heikki Koponen and I'm the president of the National Union of University Students in Finland. Uh, what I'm about to do in the next couple of videos, five of all, uh, five all together, is introduce the materials that we're going to send for you uh, uh, for the General Assembly that's coming up in, in uh, November. Uh, right now, as you, as you get these videos, you're also going to get the preliminary materials, which uh, we're asking you to write up some comments about. And uh, I'm going to give some instructions about how to write those comments and also briefly introduce the materials that you are commenting. Um, before we start, I have to apologize for the language versions, uh, especially to the Swedish speaking members that we have, uh, that unfortunately my, my skills in Swedish are not quite adequate uh, for, for doing a video like this in Swedish, but we went through this with the, with the presidents of the student unions and unfortunately it was okay for them to have uh, videos only in, in Finnish and, uh, and in English because the, the letter that will be accompanying the materials will also be in Swedish. But yeah, uh, with these videos you're going to be receiving four different documents uh, containing the preliminary materials. The first of which is the plan of action uh, that we are proposing as the board for the year 2017. Uh, the second document is the renewed policy paper of SUL, which uh, was basically given to us uh, as, a, as a task in the last General Assembly in, uh, in 2015. The third document is uh, what we're proposing for a budget for 2017. And the fourth do document is uh, the new guidelines for SUL developmental cooperation uh, which was also uh, given to us as a task last January Assembly in, in uh, the fall of 2015. Um, I thought I would say a couple of words about what the function of each of these documents and especially the policy paper and the plan of action are and how they relate to each other. So basically if we start with the policy paper, that's the document that is the kind of highest in hierarchy uh, related to how we do advocacy work here in Sul. Uh, on a daily basis. So it's really a quite uh, a, a document that ties the, the hands and the actions of both the, the employees and the board members of SUL. So when we're doing work for advocating the, the kind of best possible future of students in Finland, we uh, actually used quite actively the policy paper as a tool and we, we uh, look up like what we're supposed to be doing in our work uh, on a pretty regular basis. So what you guys uh, actually decide to write in the policy paper really makes a difference on what SUL is going to be doing for the next couple of years and how the student movement uh, in Finland is going to look. Um, the, the paper itself, um, therefore, is, is a kind of a long-term document um, and it contains uh, two types of stuff. One of which is a description of the kind of ideal world that we in SUL feel that Finland should be like. Uh, or, or the ideal country that Finland should be liked, and also also some ideas about what uh, like should be done on the European level. In addition to that, we have uh, like concrete advocacy targets that we're going to be working for, and the idea is that these targets, uh, if they are completed, kind of uh, promote a world that is more like the ideal world that is described before these advocacy targets in the paper. Then if, if we move to the plan of action, which is the other document that we're, uh, we're proposing to you guys, uh, it has a slightly different role compared to the policy paper. So whereas the policy paper is a very long-term oriented document that tries to describe uh, a long-term change that should happen, the, the plan of action for next year is uh, a paper that describes like really concrete and discrete changes that could happen and should happen in 2017. So basically that's the way that we are um, kind of focusing our year specific resources to create some kind of a discrete change either in the life of, lives of students um, or in the operations of student unions, in the operations of SUL or for instance the kind of societal atmosphere of discussion that we have in Finland. Yeah, um, after this preliminary stage uh, and after you guys give your comments uh, we're going to use those comments to prepare the final materials that we're going to send to you, which we are going to propose uh, as, as like a basis for the decisions that are going to make, be made in the General Assembly itself. At that stage, we're also going to add a couple more documents that you won't be receiving for, for comments now. The first of which is um, a description of 
the other work that we do here in SUL that is not directly uh, kind of described in the policy paper or, or the plan of action necessarily. So uh, as you might imagine, the, the work of SUL is kind of uh, a series of ongoing processes where we are kind of involved in stuff that's going on in the Ministry of Education, for instance, and then there are some other kind of national processes that we are working, uh, working with very closely. But these processes are not necessarily described in the plan of action as per se. So we're going to be pro uh, uh, like providing a description of the next one and a half years where we're going to be detailing uh, some of the processes that are ongoing. And uh, the point is to kind of give you more of a, like a detailed idea about what the work of SUL is like and what, what we're actually using our resources and our time, time uh, towards. The second new document at that stage that's going to be introduced is our financial plan for the midterm. So whereas our budget is only concerned with the year 2017, we also have a financial document that is concerned with the next three years. And that's going to be also presented to you guys at that, at that stage. So basically that's the document where we have a longer term plan as to whether we're going to have uh, increases in our membership fees and, and like, you know, uh, bigger stuff like that. The third document at that stage is going to be um, one that uh, outlines how the General Assembly itself is going to work. So what kind of working groups we're going to have to, to tackle the matters, uh, for instance, in the policy paper and how you can uh, like give out motions and stuff like that. So that's something that you should look into, uh, especially because it's a good kind of introduction document or a training document to uh, come going towards the General Assembly. Yeah, uh, just some final final remarks. Uh, firstly, about the schedule. So, um, the period for comments is going to start uh, in the fall seminar on Monday, and it's going to last for two weeks. So you're going to have uh, quite a tight uh, schedule for giving your comments to back to us. And when we receive those comments, we're going to look through them and process them here at the office at Labirinne. Uh, and then we're going to, based on those comments, um, work at our materials once more and then and then uh, give like make a decision on the final proposition of the of the board for the materials that are going to be uh, actually looked at in the General Assembly. So about 21 days before the General Assembly we're going to actually send you the final materials uh, as accepted by the board. Then about the actual comments that that you're going to be giving um, just a couple of like requests for you guys. First of all related to the the policy paper. So that's where I think you should employ the, like the, most, the closest level of detail uh, out of all of these documents because that's, that's the paper that actually defines how we're doing our work for the next couple of years and, and the wording that we use there and, and the, the subjects that are, are kind of handled in that paper are really quite important uh, concerning the, the way that SUL works and the way that the student, university student movement in Finland works. The second comment uh, is related to, to the plan of action, uh, this document here. And when you are gathering comments for that document, I suggest that you look mostly at the themes, so the kind of header level of, of the subjects. Uh, and that's due to the fact that the plan of action is mostly used here at the office in the be very beginning of the year, when we're actually like uh, forming a concrete plan on how to uh, put these themes into action. So we're not going to be uh, looking so closely at the very wording and the very specifics and details of those projects. So it's not uh, the best, best use of your resources uh, necessarily either to, to pay most attention to the details of the plan of action projects. The most, uh, if you want to kind of influence us the most, um, what I suggest you to do is to look very closely at the themes and, and like decide whether or not this, this, uh, plan of action as a whole is relating to the themes that are most important for students in Finland uh, next year. Thanks.